uh, in a little bit. Before we do that, let's get to the first story about Julian, which is a sad one from our friend Kevin Gostola. Julian. At the, at the dissenter, which is a poll that most U.S. and U.K. adults know nothing about the files that Assange is charged with publishing. I don't think this is much of a surprise, but I thought it was still important to showcase this. So, from again, our friend Kevin Gostola over at the dissenter, please sign up a fantastic newsletter, an offshoot of Shadow Proof. It focuses specifically on prison stuff and on the Assange case. Most American and British yep. adults don't know anything about the documents that the U.S. government is prosecuting WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange for publishing, according to a poll by Morning Consult. Both populations are apathetic or unaware when it comes to whether Assange should be extradited and face a U.S. trial. In fact, nearly half of U.S. adults polled said they had never heard of Julian Assange. Dad. Dad. The lack of awareness of Assange and the case against him is likely why only a minority of the U.S. and United Kingdom support the prosecution. Meanwhile, in, U in Australia, half of adults said Assange should not be executed, uh, uh, extradited from the, U the U.K. to the U.S., and he should be released from jail. They, he likely will be executed, or whatever, the rotting in jail, and never, it's just a disgrace. Free Julian Assange, my goodness, free Julian Assange. That reflects how the case mm -hmm. has become a significant political issue in the country during the past year. U.S. Justice yep. Department charged Assange with 17 counts of violating the Espionage Act. Each Espionage Act charge stems from the publication of documents which WikiLeaks obtained from U.S. Army whistleblower Chelsea Manning in 2010. Assange has been jailed at Her Majesty's Prison, Belmarsh, since April 11, 2019, when the Ecuador government revoked his political asylum, and allowed the British police to enter their London embassy and arrest him. UK Home Secretary Preeti Patel approved Assange's extradition in June. But Assange's legal team immediately filed two separate appeals in the UK High Court of Justice. The Espionage Act charges criminalized the publication of the Afghanistan war logs, Iraq war logs, and US embassy cables, as well as the Guantanamo files, and Iraq rules of engagement mm -hmm. documents. Yep. Why? Now, this is the poll that was published from Morning Consult. Oh, great. It didn't really okay. show up well because of the green. But, again... It's okay. Okay. Um, in Germany, 60% say that he was right to make the public aware, and that's the highest. That's pretty interesting that Germany has the highest... And of the and of all the countries, the one that thought that he was right the least is the UK, followed by the US, which just shows mm -hmm. that the propaganda in in English speaking countries works. Yep. Morning Console conducted surveys in the UK, US, in Australia, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. They sampled at least a thousand adults in each country. In the US. 55% of adults said they had never seen, read, or heard anything about the Afghanistan war logs. 54% said they had never seen, read, or heard anything about the Iraq war logs. That's remarkable nope. to me. 57% mm -hmm. of U.S. adults said they had never seen, read, or heard anything about the U.S. embassy cables. U.K. adults appear to have even less knowledge of the publications, though more have heard of Assange. 57% of UK adults said they'd never seen, read, or heard anything about the Afghan war logs. 56% said they'd never seen, read, or heard anything about the Iraq war logs. 63% said the same thing about the U.S. Embassy cables. Results were similar in Australia. 53, 54, and 56% respectively. Majority of Australians polled agree that Assange was, quote, right to make the public aware about U.S. government policies and actions such as surveillance of American citizens, quote unquote. Bizarrely, that's not really what the war logs or diplomatic cables that WikiLeaks published revealed. Yeah, that that is kind of weird. How that question was even framed in the first place. Half mm -hmm. of Australian adults polled said Assange would not receive a fair trial in the United States. Well, the other half don't know what the hell they're talking about, but. Contrast that with results in the U.S. and U.K., only 28% of adults said he would not receive a fair trial in their country, and 36% of U.K. adults 
said the Suns would not receive a fair trial. Those 28%, yeah, are the correct ones. Only 38% of UK adults said Assange was right to make the public aware, whereas 42% from the U.S. government, uh, for, uh, the United States citizen. Again, this is a relatively small sample. I, I'm not really crazy about these morning consult, thousand-person polls. They generally tend to run older, whiter, to a, to a Fox yeah. News cable-driven audience who can actually answer the phone when a poller calls and be willing to take the time to listen. Parents, working people don't tend to answer polls like this. No. But it, it is some kind of indicator, right? 40% of U.S. adults said Assange should be extradited from the U.K. to face trial for publishing secret U.S. government documents, which is troubling for those who care about press freedom. But just as worrisome is the, fa is the fact that about the same percentage indicated they didn't know about the case or had no opinion. Yeah. In the U.K., mm -hmm. Where the government recently approved the extradition of Assange, a staggering 44% of respondents say they didn't know about the case or had no opinion about whether the WikiLeaks founder should be extradited. That's because no major publication covered it while he was on trial. Covered it. At the Old Bailey. Yep. Richard Medhurst covered it every day. This guy who wrote this article, Kevin Gostola, covered it every day. Yep. When he consult asked respondents whether they could recall anything about WikiLeaks publication of Hillary Clinton's campaign emails, CIA hacking materials, Vault 7, and NSA files on spying against French presidents, but the charges against Assange don't cover those publications. While the U.S. did charge him for publishing the Guantanamo files, the polling firm didn't even ask about those documents. Respondents were also asked mm. about, an NSA, about Edward Snowden, NSA whistleblower. Although Assange is being criminalized for engaging in source protection by helping Snowden free, flee Hong Kong, how one views Snowden, Snowden is largely irrelevant to the Assange case. Overall, the, polls, the poll results illustrate the extent to which the Western news media has shaped views of Assange and WikiLeaks. Not only that, Snowden was an actual employee of the NSA living in the United States and not a reporter or a journalist. He was the actual leaker. Yep. Western news media has been hyperfixated on the publication of Clinton campaign emails, despite the fact that the files were much less consequential than documents that exposed the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, as well as the lengths that U.S. diplomats will go to advance U.S. foreign policy. Every other mm -hmm. day, I find that Misty, Misty Winston, follow her on Twitter at Sarcasm Stardust. Misty's constantly yep. tweeting, thank you, Julian, when something comes out. It turns out WikiLeaks had released this and found this out, and we only know this because WikiLeaks had found it. Which, by the way, they've never had to print the retraction and have always been accurate. Press freedom advocates may be relieved that in the U.S., U.K., and Europe, there's only minority support for prosecuting Assange. However, the apathy and lack of awareness of this unprecedented political case has probably done more to aid that hinder the U.S. and U.K. government in their efforts to secure extradition and bring a publisher to trial. And that's our buddy, Kevin Gustola. Hmm. What's with my camera? Why is my camera all weird? I don't know. It shouldn't be. It's right I, in Discord. I see you. Hold on. Do I have to reset transform on your, on your camera? Oh, jeez. It's like up. Hey, yeah, you're Over like here? Mr. Wilson here. here? Hold on. No, oh, I. Hello. Wait a minute. Oh. Ooh. I know why. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi. everybody. Indy had the wrong Hi, camera. Because we thought Misty Indy might be wrong with us. Camera. We thought Misty might hmm? be with us tonight. We're so, not... therefore, I oh, changed. Oh, my God. I changed the camera angle, and I forgot to change it back. <laughs> okay, so. Hi, Rick, hi, Rick. Fucking sorry. Um, oh, my goodness, everybody. There's Reef. Hello. Hi, hi everybody. Me. Sorry. Hi, uh, everybody. 
Maybe needs to look at chat once in a while instead of just read, 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 read. Yes, nah, that might help. good. I got it. I got chat. <laughs> well, no, otherwise you then, could distract him. In. Then, then I would have caught that I. It's that, like, that, it's like soundboard stuff. You get distracted by soundboards and camera. Like, oh, soundboard and Twitter squirrel. You know? Yes, and yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Read Julian Assange. By the way, Read uh, Julian yesterday, Assange. Yes. Go ahead. Yesterday with Julian's Assange's um the tweet storm. We did do a tweet storm. Um I was noticing that it would always like show additional replies that might be um I forget what they call it. You know, on Twitter, you know when it says that? Yes. Where it's like Yeah, they're burying tweets. Yes. Yeah. Every one of them just said Assange in it. No, nothing was like it was like one of those things that, that that might be. It's like it might be offensive or whatever, right? Um, all of them just had Assange when I clicked, and they all were hidden. I was like, "The fuck." Yep, that's yeah. right, Garrett Brown. Those bastards will let him die in prison, unfortunately, along with yes. um, along along with Mumia and and Leonard Peltier. Which, by the way, I also tweet out all the time: free, free Peltier, free Mumia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Uhuru movement uh, put out that as well, like free them all, all political prisoners when we did this shit. Where's so. George?